My apologies for that uh, interruption. I was speaking about how certain kinds of actions seem like they ought to be moral actions, giving to the poor out of sympathy or helping your children out of love. But Kant famously denies that those, strictly speaking, are moral actions in the full sense of the term. Because Kant commits himself to the idea that a good will is good only when it acts out of duty. And if your motivation is love or sympathy, well, those are things different from, from duty. Now, of course, you might well wonder about what, uh, what duty is. Apparently, it's some kind of obedience to moral law, and we have yet to know what the moral law is. But uh, we, will, we will get to that shortly, and we will certainly see that it is indeed different from acting out of a general love or a general sympathy or, or something like that. Um, and so, indeed, we get the famous result that, that these actions that seem like moral actions are not, in fact, fully moral if done from these uh, motives that are different from duty. Okay, um, so that's uh, where I wanted to leave it for this time. Um, we'll pick up here next time with more on Kant, and we'll, we'll start to... Uh, learn about how he arrived at his very distinctive moral deontological theory. Okay, thanks.